Good morning, church. Um, good morning, Ma. Good morning, sir. My name is Chantel. So, um, <laughs> I just want to give God all the glory for what he used me to do in the life of my neighbor. So, I was just in my house, like, I was reading my script for drama presentation the next morning. So, um, the next, the neighbor now came in and told my mom that his wife is dead, that she just fell down and just died, just like that. So when I heard it, I just said, what? How can someone die when I'm here? When I've been listening to my papa. <laughs> so I said, no, mom, I want to go and pray. My mom said, no, 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 no. Don't pray. Like, like, just leave them. You know, I don't like you going to strangers' houses. I said, mommy, no, I want to pray. Then my senior brother said, let her go now. Then my mom said, okay, since you are going, I'll follow you. Then I said, okay, thank you. So I just went in. I took my anointing oil. I went straight to the house. I was so calm before. Immediately, fire came on me. I said, I rebuke the spirit of death from you in the name of Jesus. It was powerful. I, pr- I so much prayed. My stomach went in. Now I know what my papa has been going through. When he has been praying for us all through. When he keeps praying every time, my stomach went in. I prayed. Then the next thing, this woman already has blood. Like, if you, if you went there ordinary, your faith would be so much down. Blood was coming out from her mouth. I prayed. Then the next thing, she started breathing. This woman started breathing. Then I said, then, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I remember what my papa said. He said, when you see this, this is a sign that the power of God is upon her. Then immediately I prayed again. She moved her hand. <laughs> oh my God. Praise the Lord. She moved her hand. Then the spirit of the Lord told me, now tell them to take her to the hospital. Immediately they rushed this woman to the hospital. The first hospital rejected her. I was still praying in my room. I was lying down, fl- I laid down flat, praying all through. I didn't lose hope, okay? So they took her to the next hospital. Then they gave her a drip. She was alive. Then my mom called the man. Guess what the man said? The man said, I didn't know I met a fire team. A fire team. I and my mom so prayed. So I just want to give God all the glory. So there the woman is in the house. She's working. She's very okay. Father, thank you for all your teachings. I really appreciate it. Like, I'm just a small girl. Imagine the, the sister. There was a, like her sister asked because I was on fire. Her sister asked, is this girl a pastor? <laughs> Me a pastor. <laughs> So I just want to encourage every one of you, please don't take for granted what our Father is teaching us. <laughs> don't take for granted. God can use you anytime, anywhere. So, and what gave me this boldness is I'm a kingdom partner in this house. <laughs> I'm a kingdom partner, so I know my rights. I can deploy the angels. I can take, I can, like I share whatever anointing is upon this house. So I encourage every one of you here to be a partner. Be a partner today because you don't know, partnership is like a life insurance. Nothing dies around you. Your family is protected. Everything around you is protected. Thank you so much. God bless you. Lord, I thank you. Can you jam those hands together for Jesus? Can you make it louder? You can do better than that.